Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It's Friday. It's been a crazy week. I shared with you yesterday. I thought this week with Monday being the holiday, Pius being off yesterday, I thought today was Monday. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Anyway, today's bag is a style I don't pick up often uh, because shipping is... Um, challenging and not really my favorite style however when I do come across them at the right price then I will pick them up and especially when it is Canadian made so this little red beauty is by JR Canada so I do have a history piece which I will do towards the end of me showing you the bag it's not leather, it is a vinyl offering, but you know what? I don't come across these in red very often, so I thought, what the heck? And it was a great price. There are some issues with it. Um, first off, let me show you the corner. Here we go. There is a little bit of um finish loss right in the corner it hasn't really affected the color too too much but there is a little bit of um damage there and the other thing which really isn't that noticeable because the color has come off like quite extensively that it almost doesn't look like it was the color in the first place so on the edges there it's quite a brass tone across the top it looks very kind of stainless silver but you know what i don't really care i think it's a cute little bag that if you are a vintage lover and you like to have a vintage edge to your outfit this is going to be a great little brunch bag or something that you take out with your girls and it just is something that you're going to sit on top of the table and everybody's gonna go oh wow where'd you get that and then you can share the history of this company because I'm gonna tell you love the snap top um, closure the metal frame you can see there is quite a bit of wear but you know what this bag is probably older than me so the lining is in great shape the maker's mark is almost not visible. I didn't really catch it until I caught the sun. It, there's a very slight JR right there. And then you've got a little zipper compartment here. And love that noise. And there you go. That is today's bag. It's got a really pretty gusset. Apart from that little corner damage, it is an excellent, excellent shape other than that. And that is today's listing. So let me tell you a little bit about this company. So, um, JR Canada is just a division of JR. JR standing for Julius Resnick a Russian um, designer from Belarus, came to the U.S. in 1904, started out as a, uh, his business started out as a pocketbook business. Now, pocketbooks is kind of an old uh, name for a wallet or maybe in some cases a purse, but I think it's more um, kind of a wallet. Um, he started his business in 1933 with a $400 loan from, I believe it was his wife. <laughs> and his claim to fame was the number one bag. And it was a penny, oh no, it was a bag for a dollar. And um, he was the first one in the U.S. to use the YKK zipper. One of the first to use the YKK zipper. And the JR Canada division were actually made in Canada. And they were made in Cornwall, Ontario, I believe. So a little bit of history there. Um, the purse is between 60s and 70s. And this is definitely a 60s um, offering. So there you go. Nice little bit of 
Canadian fashion history and a cute little bag to go with it. So, I'm still reeling from my sunglass find yesterday. Um, I'm not wearing them because I want to find a case for them because that little bit of damage, I don't want there to be any more damage than that. They are a little loose, so if I put my head down, they do kind of come off, but I don't care. There will never be a day, never be a day where I would spend $500 on glasses. I have spent a couple hundred dollars on glasses back in the day, which I left in Florida, and that was a huge lesson that I will never spend more than 15, 20 bucks on a pair of glasses. I spent $3 on those glasses yesterday. If you missed my video yesterday, I went thrifting and I found a $500 pair of Balenciaga ladies aviator style sunglasses for three bucks at the Goodwill. I've never really come across anything like that. And obviously there is not a hundred percent guarantee that they are authentic. I don't have a bill of sale. I don't have any of those things. I don't even have the case, but the stamping on the arms of the sunglasses is so crisp and clear. And I've looked at a whole bunch of other examples of Balenciaga sunglasses and it all matches up. So I'm going to say that they are authentic. I'm not reselling them. I'm keeping them. So I'm not pulling the wool over anybody's eyes other than my own, I guess, in that instance. But they are just fabulous. And I just am so excited about it. <laughs> Clearly, I'm still talking about it. So Friday today, love Fridays. Fridays are one of my favorite days. We are going to the hockey tonight, hopefully, if uh, Pius gets done um, when he's supposed to get done. But we never can tell. Something always could come up. Leather Bag Lady Weather Report. It has been a myriad of weather conditions today. I was FaceTiming with my mom this morning and it got so black in here, I had to turn a light on. And that was at about 10 o'clock this morning. And then the rain started and then the wind started and then the sun came out. So all we need is snow and we've hit all four buttons. So it's pretty beautiful out there right now. So I might go and try and sit on the deck. I am continuing to wake up at ungodly hours with hot flashes. Not to the point where I'm soaking the bed, but definitely there is a layer of moisture on me that I'm not happy about. But what are you going to do? So I'm a little tired. And um, usually if I sit out on the deck, ah, close my eyes for 10, 15 minutes or so. Don't have time to be out there forever today because um, I've got lots of stuff to do. Trying to pack away my summer stuff keeping out some stuff for our trip to Mexico, which is less than a month away now. And um, yeah, weekend uh, hockey game tonight. And tomorrow we're in Toronto in the morning. We've got some stuff to pick up. And then we're going to Niagara Falls tomorrow afternoon and staying over. We're going to Big Texas to see uh, Brad James, who is uh, uh, kind of a cover uh singer has some of his own offerings as well he's fantastic so i really do enjoy watching him i've seen him twice i think now and uh, pius has never been to big texas it is quite an experience i will say so that is happening tomorrow and then sunday i think we really need to get cracking in here so um i really don't want to fix this place up i can't be bothered i'm over it um, the thought of doing any more work in here just makes me yawn, makes me want to run a hundred kilometers in the other direction. But when I think about all the money we're going to save and what it's going to do uh, for our future, I need to suck it up, Buttercup. So that's what I'm trying to do. So we really need to get cracking in here because inevitably there's going to be things that we didn't expect. I think that's what's freaking me out so much. I don't want any surprises. I've had so many issues in this house over the 16, 17 years that I've lived here that I just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. And if it wasn't such an amazing opportunity to 
I mean, it's not going to be a huge saving opportunity for me because my income is so low that I don't have much beyond what my mortgage and bills are anyway. But for Pius, it is an insane amount of savings. And it just is crazy not to take advantage of it. Or at least to try anyway. I am very skeptical because I've lived here all these years. Mr. Murray hasn't. But hey, you never know. Maybe things will be different. I hope they are. But I'm not sure. <laughs> not being negative. I'm being realistic. And that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, everybody, have a great weekend. Hopefully you're going to be out and about doing some fall activities. The colors are spectacular at the moment. So if you're near some, um, near the escarpment or somewhere, go and enjoy because it is, I've never really noticed so much red before. Maybe because I'm just so blissfully happy these days. I don't know. I don't puke. Go on. Puke, puke. I haven't made you puke in a while. <laughs> Our time. Get on that dating site for 50s and over. Our time. I've got some new subscribers. So if you are new to my channel, I am five months into an amazing relationship with a man I met on Our Time, which is an online dating um, app. I hate them. But... It is for 50s and over, which I think makes a huge difference. There's still some jerks out there, 50 or 80. But um, I know some people who have been very successful, me being one of them. And I would encourage you to check it out. So my public service announcement for our time, I'm not affiliated with them in any way other than their app has made me and Pius blissfully happy. So... Anyway, everybody, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday. Bye.